OK, in this example, we're going to be finding the exact solution of quadratic equations. That means we're going to be using the formula. Now, strictly speaking, you could solve this equation directly using your calculator. And we'll be looking at that in a future example. However, it is important that you know how to apply the quadratic formula, because in some cases, you might have values inside your quadratic that are algebraic rather than numeric, which means you won't be able to use your calculator to solve every question you come across. To begin with, we need to make one side equal to zero. To make that easier, I'm going to expand the brackets on the right hand side. So to expand a square bracket, we get the first term squared, that would be 9x squared, plus 2 times the product of the middle two terms, 3x times 2 is 6x, multiplied by 2 is 12x, and then the final term squared, plus 4. If you've not seen that method of expanding a square bracket before, you can check it by expanding this as if it was 3x plus 2 multiplied by a second bracket of 3x plus 2. To get 0, I'm going to subtract 2x plus 7 from both sides. There aren't any x squared terms, so we still have 9x squared. 12x minus 2x gives me positive 10x. And 4 minus 7 gives me negative 3. Next, I'm going to apply the quadratic formula. So we have x equals minus b, that's going to be minus 10, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 10 squared, minus 4ac. So 4 times 9 times negative 3. And that's all divided by 2a. 2 times 9 is 18. Let's tidy this up a little bit. 10 squared is 100. 4 times 9 is 36, times 3 is 108. As we've got a negative times a negative, we'll add them. 100 at 108 is 208. 208 can be simplified because 16 goes into it. However, to save some time, we'll just type this into our calculator and get the simplified answer. So if we do minus 10 plus root 208 over 18, we get minus 5 plus 2 root 13 over 9. If we were to do minus 10 minus root 208, it would be the same thing, but with a minus sign here. Okay, here's a problem for you to try for yourself then. As it's slightly different to my example, I'll provide a hint in a few seconds, but before I do, you might want to pause it and see if you can do it for yourself. Okay, before I show you the solution then, I'll just give you a quick hint. If we want to clear both of these fractions here, we could multiply both sides by x plus 2, that would get rid of this, and we could multiply both sides by 6 minus 8. People often refer to that as cross multiplying. Okay, if that's helped you out, pause the video and see if you can do it. Welcome back, here's my solution. If you got the same as me, well don't move on to the next example, otherwise I'll go through how I got my solution. To begin with, I'm going to do two steps at once. I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 2. That will have the effect of cancelling it out on this side, and it'll end up on the top of this fraction. At the same time, I'm going to multiply both sides by 6 minus x. That will cancel out the fact we're dividing by here, but it will appear in a bracket next to 3x plus 2. So that means we get 3x plus 2 multiplied by 6 minus x. And then we get 4x plus 1, and we multiplied up by the x plus 2, so we get this. That first step was called cross multiplying. Next, I'm going to expand out the brackets on both sides. 3x times 6 is 18x. 3x times minus x is minus 3x squared. 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 times minus x is minus 2x. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is 8x. 1 times x is x, and 1 times 2 is 2. Next, I'm going to rearrange to get 0 on the left-hand side. I've currently got 4x squared on the right-hand side. To cancel the minus 3x squared, I need to add 3x squared to both sides, so that gives me 7x squared. I've got 8x plus x on this side, so currently there's 9x. 
But on the left hand side is 18x minus 2x, which is 16x. So I've got 9x minus 16x, which gives me minus 7x. On the right hand side to start with, I've got 2. On the left hand side, I've got 12 to subtract. That gives me negative 10. Let's apply the quadratic formula. We get x equals minus b, or b is negative 7, so that will give us positive 7. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's negative 7 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 7, times c, which is negative 10. And that's all divided by 2a, which is 14. Tidying up inside the square root, minus 7 squared is 49. And we're doing a minus times a minus here, so we're going to add this second term. We've got 4 times 7 is 28, times 10 is 280. Adding 280 to the 49 gives us 329. Since the square root of 329 can't be simplified, that's our final answer. If at any stage with the surge you're not sure, you could simply type this into your calculator and it will simplify it for you.